Amai is an amazing bird made of light. Although tiny, she can magically turn into a shooting star and take children on exciting adventures. Amai is a friend of children of all colors and from different parts of the world. One day, Amai went to visit her friends Papai and Chanu because it was their turn to go on a tour of the world with her. Are you ready for an adventure? Amai asked. Oh yes, said Papai. So that beautiful spring morning, Amai took the children on a tour of the world. Wow, the earth and all her creatures are so beautiful, said Babai. While enjoying all the beauty, they heard a terrible noise. Wow, look at the missile, shouted Janu. Oh, they're so beautiful, said Babai. Oh my dear. Dear children, Amai said with a sad smile, these weapons bring great pain and suffering to all living creatures. My friend Bibi has lost almost all her family and friends due to the war in her land. She only has her mother and kitten Bisho. Everything else is destroyed. Only yesterday, I took them to a safer place. Ah, now I will tell you the story of another little girl named Sadako. Amai told the children. Sadako was born in Japan during a time of darkness, of hatred and war. Many countries were fighting each other. Japan was also fighting the war. There was death and destruction everywhere. But so far, Sadako's hometown, Hiroshima, had not been touched. For Sadako and her brother Masahiro, August 6, 1945 seemed like any other day full of fun and playful games. They had no idea that in the bright sky an enemy airplane was about to drop the most terrible bomb in the world, an atomic bomb. Just one bomb was dropped, but it was so powerful that it snuffed out the lives of tens of thousands of people. Sadako's mother was very relieved to find her precious children unharmed while all around them there was death and destruction. Soon after the bomb fell, the rain was filthy black and full of radiation. Many people who survived the blast that day became sick from radiation poisoning and many more people died days, months and even years later. After Hiroshima was destroyed, it was said that nothing would grow there for another 70 years. But trees and flowers bloomed once again, encouraging the people of Hiroshima to rebuild their devastated city. Ten years later, Sadako had grown into a cheerful girl who loved running races. The pain and horror of the atomic bomb seemed to be behind her, but its dangerous effects remained. One day during a race, Sadako felt dizzy and fainted. The doctor who saw her gave the devastating news to Sadako and her mother that she had radiation poisoning. 
Sadako and her family had heard that children die from this disease. Sadako didn't want to die. She was full of hope that she would live. While in the hospital, she heard of a Japanese legend that said whoever folds thousand paper cranes could have a wish granted. Sadako started to work on her paper cranes. She continued to make paper cranes right up until her last breath. <laughs> but this is not fair. Sadako wanted to live and be able to run freely again, said Janu. She worked so hard, but her wish never came true, said Babal. Well, Amai replied, Sometimes wishes are not fulfilled exactly as we want them to be. Sadako died, but she still lives in the hearts of many people. She turned her pain and sorrow into hope. She prayed for a world without nuclear weapons, a world where children are protected from war. Amai? Is it possible that Bibi will also see peace in her land? asked Janu. Yes, anything is possible, Janu. If the people of Hiroshima have enjoyed 70 years of peace, Bibi's land can enjoy peace too. Maybe the people from Bibi's land will also mend their broken hearts and rebuild their ruined homes and cities. Dear children, Instead of developing dangerous weapons to take revenge, the people of Hiroshima responded by building a city of peace. Bravery is not always fighting wars, but working for a bright, peaceful future, even when it seems impossible. <laughs>